What's going on, YouTube? Lock and low one time for the one time. Welcome back to a new episode of JR Reacts. It's a lot of shit that's been going on this past weekend. Some things is happening. I said to myself, it's time to talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Lock in with your boy JR. Like I said, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. Now let's tap in. Now look here. We're about to tap into this Sweetie Quavo situation. That's what we're about to do. That's what we're about to do right now. now hold on real quick. Hold on. I'm going to take a sip out my styrofoam cup like I'm Lil Wayne. What's in the cup? What did Lil Wayne say in the interview? Don't worry about it. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Anyways. Quavo, look, brother, you knew you fucked up when you looked in that damn camera. Once you looked at that camera, you knew you fucked up. First and foremost, the comment section on the Shade Room was absolutely ridiculous. Who are these people? I don't know if these people are bots. Are these real human beings? You really can't decipher very much because the Shade Room always has everybody... With the blue checks, you know, get the first dibs on the comment. That's the, person, the people they put first. They know what they're doing. But everybody I'm talking about, you want to talk about some sick-ass comments. Like, Quavo didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't. Quavo did nothing wrong. Quavo did nothing wrong. He, she, she hit him first. How, what the hell is Sweetie going to do to him? This nigga from Atlanta. What the fuck is Sweetie going to do to him? And you gonna throw her on the ground like a rag doll, and then and, and, and protect your bags or whoever bags it was over her, and she lips out of a goddamn elevator. God damn. I look. I'm telling you right now. Now I saw somebody said. I saw somebody say on my timeline. It may have been my on my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't know. Pretty much they said that was an abuse. It wasn't. If it wasn't abuse, it's the start of it. Because what the fuck would have happened if Sweetie would have hit her goddamn head on the ground and never got back up? As my dad used to tell me, who was a correctional officer for over 25 years, son, you could fuck your whole life up in a second. If she would have fell down, hit her head, and never got back up, that nigga would never rap again. Quavo, and I don't give a damn what you niggas say. I don't know what kind of shit is going on in this generation. Don't get me wrong. Trust me. I know. I'm trying to tell you, you can't put yourself in that position. Yeah, she swung on you. You can't fling her. You can't do that, fool. You can't do that. I don't know. And something tells me that wasn't the first time. It was not the first time that happened. Cause he did it a little bit too cool. He treated her like, oh, whatever, bitch. Oh, that's the woman you love, huh? You love her? Okay. Well, that's a crazy way of showing it. But I know how relationships can go. Relationships can go, a l look here. It can go downhill in a hurry. Once a couple starts hitting each other and starts fighting one another, I'm trying to tell you the shit will crumble fast. Fast. Sweetie is a smart girl. Sweetie raps because she wants to rap. Sweetie went to USC, graduated. I don't know if she, I think she graduated. Anyways, she went to San Diego State, went to USC. Smart. She came for money. She raps for fun. That nigga raps to keep his life alive. There's a difference. He hustles for rap. She don't need this shit. This is nothing. She does this for fun. She don't need this shit. And you gonna put your hands on sweetie? Come on, motherfucker. I'm sorry to curse, but hell, I made me feel type of bad. I don't care. I know motherfucker nigga will come across this damn page and say, nigga, you don't understand. Fuck you. I motherfucking understand. I'm a motherfucking man, nigga. Look here. You can't do it. Even if you even if sweetie was in the wrong. You cannot, as a man, 
put yourself in that position because it's all going to turn on you. Think with your big head, not your little head. Think. Was your bag that damn important? What it looked like to me was that she was trying to get away from you and you wouldn't let her. So she swung on your black ass and you didn't like her and you treated her like a nigga in Atlanta. She's not from Atlanta. She's from out here on the West Coast, Left Coast, okay? When it's sunny and everything. God damn. Y'all let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Fuck you, Quavo. I don't care how you feel about it. I don't know what the fuck was going on in that video. I know it was very disturbing. It was very, very disturbing to me. Like I said, y'all let me know what you think about the situation in the comment section. Now, let's go to Lil Nas X. Let's move on to the next topic. Moving on, moving on. Lil Nas X makes a video with him stripping on the devil and all this shit, making a devil-ass shoe. Who gives a fuck? I don't care. I don't listen to Lil Nas X. He, I, that's not my dem. Look, I'm not in his demographic, so it doesn't. I don't care. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. All I know is he's a goddamn troll, and he knows exactly what he's doing because he knows y'all don't like that he's black and gay. I'm gonna say it again. He does. He knows. Lil Nas X knows. You do not like that he's black and gay. So you know what he said to his marketing team? We gonna flip the fuck out this shit. And he flipped it. And he used it for clickbait. He said what he did was use your pain, use your hate against you. And so, and he just laughs in your face. He's a professional troll. He's been doing this before he, before Old Town Road. When he was a little motherfucking, little uh, Nicki Minaj fan. He's been doing this for years. And y'all took the bait. I don't care. I'm not watching the video. It's not my cup of tea. I don't like that. I don't like that shit. Uh, do whatever you want to do. Date who you want to date. I, that's not That's not what I'm trying to say. Because he's trying to push the envelope for clicks and it's working. If you don't like it, don't watch it. It's not about him being gay. Hell, I just don't deal with that demonic shit. Hell, I got enough demons in my motherfucking head. Hell, don't bring another one in. <laughs> okay? I don't care. Date whoever the hell you want to. That is not my thing. You dancing on devils and stuff and god damn, okay? Whatever. It worked. Over 40 million views and shit. Come on. Don't. It's called Marketing. It's called marketing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Have you seen his memes? Have you seen his clapbacks to all these haters to him? He don't give a damn because he's laughing to the motherfucking bank. Oh, yeah, let's get to the shoes, though. You really think these shoes have real blood in them? Come on. Come the fuck on. You think his shoes have real fucking blood in them? Come on. And, and can, you know, niggas believe anything. Niggas believe anything. Because the black church, Zach was really mad. Well, I don't want my child to see this shit. Well, don't let your child see it. Don't let your child see it. If you don't want your child watching Lil Nas X twerk on the devil, don't let your child see it. You control it. Not him or any celebrity. No celebrity controls your motherfucking child. None. Only you. Cut that shit. They ain't no, look, they are normal people just like me and you. They put their shoes on just like we do. They put their pants on, put their shirt on. They are no different. They're just more famous than we are. And that's fine. But they do not raise, they are not the role model. You're the guide. The parent is the guide, not little motherfucking Nas X. Cut the shit. I don't care. I have more power to him. He's, hey, it worked. What Everything he's been doing has worked. Now, this is the only thing. This is the thing, though. When you go down this route, stay there. Because you keep pushing the envelope and pushing it. 
The shit can go left real quick. And m- nobody will ever fucking listen to your ass. I understand that you sold every shoe out. I know it was a fucking box that did a thousand dollars for a pair of shoes. Motherfucker, please. A thousand dollars for those? No. No, 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 no. A thousand dollars. Don't and it, and it was sold out in a minute. Those are called bots. That's the reason why PlayStation 5 was gone so fast. It was all bots. People that just load shit up, put it on there, and so when the shit comes out, they buy it. It's already in the cart. It's already ready to go. That's how they get it. And then you never see it again. And then you'll see it on eBay for $10,000. Motherfucker, I ain't paying no $10,000 for no damn bloody shoes. Unless your ass is fucking Cardi B. <laughs> Golly, what the hell is going on now? What else? What else I want to get to? Oh, my God. Let's talk about Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, if you don't know, is a football player who's a really good quarterback for the Houston Texans. Great quarterback. Who, wanted, who asked for a trade from the Houston Texans. He said, I'm not coming back. I don't want to come back. Leave me alone. He stopped taking their phone calls and everything. All of a sudden, all these women come out the woodworks. Now, have you seen his contract? It's a $250 million contract, if I'm not mistaken. Damn near fully guaranteed. Young man, young black man, all of a sudden, 30 plus massage therapists come out and say he sexually harassed them? Now, where there's smoke, there's fire. If you, let me tell you something, damn it. Let me tell you something. If I'm wrong, shame on me. Shame on me when I say this. Women lie. Women lie like hell. Now, this ain't, it's not a criminal lawsuit. It's a civil lawsuit. So all these women want to be paid. Tell the man with the money to pay me. What they're claiming is, well, during a massage, getting a massage, he told me to touch uh, his inner thigh and I graze his dick. Okay. And you felt... So harassed? What's really going on? And it took you all this time, I don't get it, to file a lawsuit, huh? And then one after another, after another, after another, after another. Like I said, there's smoke, there's fire. Now, as far as we know, he didn't have sex with these women. He didn't rape these women. He didn't do nothing. Now, how many massages do you need? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I, I don't know. If that's his thing, that's his thing. If that's how you get him, that's how you get him. I don't know if he scorned one woman, one woman, because nobody's more angry than a woman scorned. As a man, I know. And a woman will, if a woman can ruin your life, she will. Uh, <laughs> he will. And uh, they're trying to tear this man down. The news, it, it gets worse. If you get a chance, to just look it up. The stuff they're saying about this man. Now, the man's an upstanding man. He lost, took care of his mom when she had cancer. He came from, you know, you, you know, he came up from the from the bottom. Now he's here. And, and, and all you've heard was good things. But, you know, even good people can go bad. You know, even good people have a bad side. So we'll find out how this all works out. I hope this man's career is not ruined. Because it end up for him to be suspended for the rest of the year. And they could put him on the commissioner's exempt list. If you don't know what the commissioner's exempt list mean in the NFL and football. Ladies and gentlemen. It means that your ass ain't playing until I say so. Until the commissioner says you can play. Until shit gets corrected. They both got lawyers going on. Lawyers are going back and forth. It's not looking good for my boy Deshaun. It ain't looking good. But you know. I've never trusted a nigga named Deshaun anyway. Uh, you know, if a motherfucker named Deshaun, hmm, you know he's from the hood. But <laughs> that's just me. 
This is me, little old JR. I'm just talking my shit. Do that shit. Do it. Well, that's my time. This is JR Reacts. I've been gone for a long time. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I surely would appreciate it. And I will see you when I see you. Peace!